Hey everybody, this is Julia and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. Do you believe it is January 1st? Happy New Year, happy 2019. And I couldn't think of a better way than starting off the year with one of my favorite series that I introduced on my channel a year ago. Do you guys believe that? So it started in January 2018 and I enjoyed highlighting a bunch of babies every month that gave me new growth. So I'm gonna wrap up December 2018 with variegated babies. I picked out a handful that I wanted to go ahead and share that have been doing really good for me for the month of December. If you guys enjoy this series, I have a playlist on my homepage featuring my Pot of Fame series. You can go ahead and check it out. It's a monthly series that I love doing on my channel and in no particular order, we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first one that I wanna go ahead and highlight is my beautiful variegated arrowhead. Now this is my first one that I repurchased after my first three baby arrowheads all died Keep on up me. with my channel. You know that I do mention that the arrowheads for me that are small doesn't work well for me. But anything this size and bigger, they do really well. So I wanted to go ahead and highlight this one with all of its beautiful blushing pink on it. There's a lot of new growth on here. And take a look here. I just noticed this guy right take here. A look right here. There is new growth happening. Like how cute is that? So this particular baby lives on my bench in my patio. So if you watch my patio tour, it's as soon as you enter on the left-hand side. This particular baby gets morning sun. And in my patio, the sun shifts with the tree above my house. So I think it's doing great. There's a lot of new growth here on the bottom. And I wanted to go ahead and just highlight this one for the month of December. And so far, so good. Haven't had any particular problems with this arrowhead. And that makes me really I'm interested to see what this baby is going to look like come spring, summer. This particular arrowhead has been doing so good in my collection. And it actually gives me a lot of new hope because, you know, after killing three arrowheads, I was really sad about that. And I highly suggest getting a bigger arrowhead if you guys are interested in adding this particular plant to your collection. Here's another leaf that's about to unfurl. And I'm so happy that I'm able to have this guy out in my patio full time. So I'm going to continue to leave it in my patio and we'll see what it looks like come spring, summer. But definitely been giving me growth for the month of December. So this particular baby came into my collection in August. It was a birthday plant that was gifted to me from Catherine. So thank you, Catherine, so much. It is doing so good in my collection. So if you take a look at the plant, really good. There's a lot of growth happening. Here's one like right in the center. Like look at how pretty that is. And then this guy just opened up right here. It's slowly unfurling this leaf, love that. And then if you take a look in here, there's just so much new growth. Here's one more right here. Like how cute is this leaf that's about to unfurl? So lots of new growth. I love the variegation of this peace lily. I've never seen a variegated peace lily before and it is my first peace lily. So I highly suggest if you come across a variegated peace lily, I love it even without the blooms it's still a stunning plant and we'll see when it gives me another i also love when there's more variegations of white in it so like the bottom leaves here i love that that is so so cute so let me know if you guys have this particular peace lily variegated in your collection how long have you had it it's such a stunning plant and i am excited to see what it's going to look like in this upcoming year here's my hoya carnosa tricolor i can't remember where i got this one i maybe might have gotten it from my local flea market in Los Angeles. This is my original one. I do have another one that I recently acquired in my collection. And this is an amazing plant to have. I'm a huge fan of Hoyas and I will definitely do a Hoya collection video very soon. This is a grower. So if you take a look here, and there is a lot of new baby leaves popping through. I see like small little growth happening right here too. Do you see that? Like, Look at how cute that is. This plant is just, it's such a stunning plant to look at. Every time I walk into my patio, I'm always curious to see, is it going to be a little bit more blushing in color? Like look at that leaf, so, so cute. And I just love when I see an all white leaf, so beautiful. I will definitely go ahead and sell off a bunch of Hoya babies from my mother plant. So stay tuned. It will be posted up on my planting with Jo Lynn Instagram. With the Hoyas, I find it like it kind of sneaks on you the growth. It, you can't really tell unless you really, really look close into the plant that there's growth happening. So like take a look at that leaf. Also shout out to my nail guy James. I love him so much and he gave me some Egyptian glam chrome nails because I'm heading to Egypt in a week. So I love this plant. Let me know if you guys have the Hoya Carnosa tricolor and how is it doing. 
this is such a cool plant to have okay i also wanted to go ahead and highlight my spider plant this is one of them i have all variations of them i absolutely love this thing i don't think i've really talked about this particular variety on my channel for a good minute if you watch my patio plant tour it is living in between my wicker chairs and it is a focal piece definitely when you walk into my space and my grandma wanted to also include it in my plant awards this is such a rad plant if you take a look there is some nice trails happening here so there's some cute babies it's uh not very giving compared to my original spider plant variation but nonetheless like take a look at that I'm kind of interested to see when I'm going to propagate babies from this guy like look at this baby right here never took any babies from him but I want this thing to like have tons of babies spewing on all sides of the planter but for now I'm just going to enjoy what little babies I do have so stay tuned I am in love with this particular spider plant it's definitely full like take a look at this I have it in a royal cobalt blue planter and I love a variegated plant in a uh, pure cobalt blue plant. I planter, definitely so. love spider plants. They're very easy. I do have a meet my plant episode where I go ahead and I propagate my original one. So go ahead and look out for that video if you're interested to see how I propagated my original one. But this one, I won't touch. I love the fullness of it and I want to see how many more babies it'll give me. And when it gets bigger, I'll probably take maybe one or two to propagate for my collection. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one and Kira, if you're watching, I wanted to go ahead and highlight my birthday begonia. I believe a bunch of you said on the channel that this was a looking glass begonia. I am in love with these birthday begonias. So I guess I'm highlighting birthday babies because I highlighted Catherine's variegated peace ladies that she got me for my birthday and this was a birthday plant that Kira gifted me in August. But you guys, take a look at this. You see this? Like, oh my goodness, so, so cute. Lots of new growth, like look at that. I love it. So, you know, begonias can be a little challenging. Like, look at this. How cute is this one here? A handful of my begonias, if you watch my plant tour for my patio, live right on my wicker chair. So far, it's doing good. I make sure that the soil is moist and that's pretty much it. I mean, it kind of did thin out a little bit since I've had it in August, but I'm not mad because look at all that cute little new growth. Let me know if you guys have this particular begonia and I'll definitely do a little begonia collection video. So stay tuned for yeah. that. And right away, when I did my top 10 houseplants recently, it recently got acquired in my collection and right away it took a spot. So I definitely am in love with this begonia, huge fan, and it's absolutely stunning to look at in my patio it's probably one of my favorite parts in my patio plant tour for my patio it just it looks so whimsical so love a good there's begonia. another variegated hoya that i wanted to go ahead and include for december this is my hoya carnosa crimson princess like what a name that is so crazy but take a look at these variegated leaves and if you look here look at that blushing pink happening here love that and then if you look Throughout the plant, there's so many little new growths happening. I'm kind of interested to see where this plant is going to go. I can't wait to see more trills happening from this one. It's definitely one of my favorite Hoyas, but then again, I love all Hoyas. And I'll probably go ahead and sell off one or two plant babies from this particular mother plant. So go ahead and look out for that on my Planting with Julian Instagram. Let me know if you guys have this particular Hoya Carnosa Crimson princess in your collection and is it trailing on you i love the creamy white variegation in it and the pops of pink super super look cute. at that variegated leaf oh my goodness you guys i just i love this one this is so so pretty right, so if you watch my channel i'm a huge fan of peperomias this is my peperomia obtusifolia and it's variegated i believe kira and i got a bunch of peperomias from our garden center in las vegas and i probably picked this up for a couple dollars but it was super super small probably about this small right here and look at all this growth i feature this a lot in my home whether it's on my dining table or on my coffee table and it's grown so much on me and if you take a look right here do you guys see this little growth happening like how cute is that i love this little little baby leaf oh my goodness here's another one too right here so 
can't get mad at peperomias. They're so easy. Love a waxy leaf. This particular plant gets bigger. It gets a little bit more charming and whimsical looking. If you watch my patio tour plant collection video, you see my variegated version of this. And it is so stunning. But nonetheless, I love a I love a two-tone green variegation. Can't get mad at that. And all of the beautiful growth on here, it's just it's such a cute plant. I love a good waxy leaf. So shout out to all of the new growth on this one and i can't wait to see it grow more this particular plant that i want to talk about right now is one of my plants that are dear to my heart and it's definitely an investment for me so if there's any new growth or any changes in the plant i definitely want to go ahead and share it on my channel so here is my pink princess philodendron love this plant so much and i just wanted to go ahead and highlight this particular baby that's popping through this started i believe last week and i thought it was going to maybe unfurl a little bit more where when we were away but it's still kind of in the same little spot that it was last week so wanted to go ahead and highlight that i'll keep you guys posted when that unfurls for me i'm hoping before i go to egypt in a week so i can see it it's kind of like a guessing game like is it gonna be all pink is it gonna be like variegated green and pink uh but for the most part, this plant lives in my patio. I'll keep you guys posted on any updates and changes that happens with this plant. But, you know, besides this beautiful baby that's unfurling right here, there's lots of new growth here. So that makes me super happy. Like, take a look at that. Oh my goodness, how cute. Love this one so much. So my pink princess is definitely one of my most prized plants in my collection. And you guys also seen it for my plant awards for 2018. So her name's penny because she cost me a pretty penny so we have two more plants i want to talk about here is my brazilian philodendron so this philodendron brazil i talk about it a lot probably on my channel from time to time it's been a focal piece in my patio plant tour but i had to include it on this particular episode because of all of the beautiful trails like take a look at this i've propagated from this plant uh, several times so it's definitely a giver and it's come such a long way if you watch my channel and keep up with my episodes you've probably seen it planted up in a planting with julian episode months back and all of this is new growth like take a look at that but i just wanted to like give some love to this long trail here i have a few propagated so if you guys are interested in getting cuttings from me definitely reach out to me look at this this is so beautiful this particular plant is currently the featured hanging trailing plant on my patio door. So as you enter, right away you see it. And I love the pop lime neon green. It's so cute. I love this trailing plant. Highly recommend this one. Okay, I am most proud of my last baby that I want to wrap up the video with. And it was like the first thing that I looked at when I got home this morning. It is my begonia maculata spotted i love this thing i just this is definitely one of my dream plants for 2018 and i have to find a planter for him sooner than later i don't know if i'm going to be able to find one before i leave for egypt in a week but take a look at this do you guys like see oh my god do you see this right here so so cute all right so here is one brand new leaf oh my goodness it's so cute and then on the opposite side here here's another one oh my goodness i love like how light green it is and do you see the little spots pulling through mm, this plant is so cute guys even this this particular leaf too looks like it's been recently been born this one right here but here's the top point of view there is a few leaves that i would like to propagate very soon but it's just hard for me to want to do it because i paid so much for this plant and it's definitely a wish list plant of mine and if you have begonias um, sometimes they can be finicky so i definitely don't want to kill this plant but i'm interested to see what is it going to look like in the future but nonetheless i can't believe it's giving me these baby brand new leaves and I am excited to see what kind of planter I find for it. From my history with this begonia, it's definitely very rare to find this one in the United States. So let me know down in the comments below if you have this particular plant and how often does it give you growth. Uh, begonias can be very finicky and their leaves can get crispy if you don't take care of them. Uh, but for the most part, like this thing lives in my bathroom if you watch my plant tour. 
and it gets humidity and diffuse lighting throughout the day and from time to time like I'll go ahead and bring it outside but for the most part it lives full time in my back. Okay so that is gonna wrap up today's pot of fame for the month of December 2018. It marks one full year of having this very fun series on my channel. I'm very proud about I that. I love creating fun content for you guys and I think pot of fame was definitely one of those series that really got my creativity juices flowing. I think being able to highlight a bunch of babies every month and not just one baby is really fun for me because I have a huge collection and I hate to just feature one you know so this series is very fun i hope you guys enjoyed this month's pot of fame for the month of december 2018 and i'll see you guys very soon stay tuned because in one week i'm heading to egypt and i'm very excited to see if i can film a bunch of content that is plant related for this channel but please support my vlog channel miss julian where i will be putting all of my travel vlog content for egypt there so you get to see what my grandma and i are up to on that trip so Stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon. You can find more on my blog at lrjulian.blogspot.com. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified whenever I do an upload. I do daily uploads on this channel and I will try my best to have scheduled episodes on my channel when I'm gone for about three weeks. I like to at least have one video up every three days or so. So stay tuned and thank you guys for supporting my channel. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.